Is this glass of water half full or half empty? You've probably heard that question before. You may even have a very strong opinion on it. But the way you approach to answer this question is going to define if you're somebody that's more optimistic or pessimistic. And it's extremely important to understand the difference between both of them if you want to become successful to see when to utilize either one of those categories, right? That's why in this video we're going to talk about the difference between an optimist and a pessimist and which one is the best fit for you. Coming up. If you're new here, my name is Christopher Didian. Welcome to my channel, the one-stop shop for peak performance, entrepreneurship, and personal growth. So the first thing we're gonna look at is pessimists. So pessimistic people have a more realistic view of the world. They're more cautious in planning for the future and they may even live longer. In fact, there was a landmark study spread over 20 years that showed that pessimistic people have a more cautious approach when it comes to their finance, their health, or any risky behaviors. Now that's the positive side of being pessimistic. But the negative side is, in every single opportunity, most of the time they see the negative side of things. They don't see the opportunity as, oh my God, this might happen in a positive way. They see the worst case scenario. There are people as well that pay the victim game. Oh my God, why is this happening to me? It always happens to me. It's this different type of mindset when it comes to that. So these are both views between being a pessimistic. If you see the Sean Valley within this video so far, don't instead at all to give me a like, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to find out when our weekly videos come out. So the second thing we're gonna look at is optimists. Now optimists show a higher academic achievement and an even better socioeconomic status. These are people that somewhat overestimate their abilities. Now that could be super positive, just like it could be negative in certain scenarios. But that's something that's statistically shown that's within us, it's hardwired within us to be more optimist than pessimist. It's something that's called the optimist bias, which is about 80% of the population, they overestimate positive things that are gonna happen in their life compared to negative. Now let me give you guys an example with getting married. We know that approximately 40% is the divorce rate within people that get married. But if you ask any newlywed, what are the chances of them getting divorced? They're gonna say about 0%. Nobody approaches that thinking they're gonna fail, right? So that's why it shows that certain optimists have that positive way of thinking and that could be super valuable for them, just like it could be negative in certain scenarios. But they're not people that see a failure or a step back as something that's gonna be created right now that's gonna be lasting in the future. So they are somebody that always looks at the positive side of things. So the third thing we're gonna look at is which is better. To answer that question, I wanna talk about a psychologist, William James and his happiness equation. He says, happiness is expectation over reality. So that kind of explains it right there. If you wanna be happy, either you have to change your expectation to match your reality, or you have to change your reality to match your expectation to be happy. And that explains it. If you're somebody that's optimist, you're gonna change your reality so it can match your expectation to be happy. And if you're a pessimist, you're gonna change your expectations to match your reality to be happy. So that's what it really boils down to. Now, in my personal opinion, I would more rather be an optimist instead of a pessimist. But that being said, there's definitely some great things that you wanna take out of being a pessimistic or the way that they look at the world and certain risks in itself. So there definitely is a balance to look at in that scenario. And when we're talking about balance here, I'm not talking about 50-50. I'm definitely a lot more optimist and a bit of pessimist to create that perfect balance in how to approach any scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got a great idea of what's the difference between optimist and pessimist and which is the best fit for you. So that being said, the question of the day is, are you an optimist or a pessimist? As well, is this glass of water half full or half empty? So you guys have some videos over here that could interest you. The first one is on my peak performance mindset series. Over here, you have the entrepreneurship series. You have my book review series over here. And you have my profile picture that you guys could click, subscribe, and join the family. I hope you guys have a blessed and grateful day.